as uh, Mamet Djurakovic shuffles his deck once again. So here we go, Melbourne victory versus Brisbane Raw, the biggest versus the best. Who's David and who's Goliath here this evening, Robbie Slater? Well, I think you summed it up. Off the pitch, Melbourne victory are the benchmark, but on the pitch, no doubts that Brisbane Raw are the club everyone's aspiring to. But I think everybody's had a say, uh, Robbie. Sorry to interrupt very much so. so early, but uh, you can give us your ideas to how to beat Brisbane. Well, I think that's the key on what you're saying. Is I think there's a lot of talk about how to stop Brisbane. Everyone's trying to stop Brisbane. Maybe they should be thinking more about how to beat them and find their own way of doing it, rather than concentrating too much on them. And of course, along the way, you mentioned that as well in your opening. Uh, there have been moments along the way in this winning streak or unbeaten streak of 32 where they've had late, late equalisers. Equalizers. There's been many examples of that. Now there's a chance here early doors for Brisbane Raw. Bessart Berisher, down he goes in the box. And Ben Williams says that's a penalty kick. And Ante Kovic has a red card. Unbelievable. A minute played. Victory down to 10 already. And Brisbane Raw have a penalty. Wow. Just wow, Robbie. Well, absolutely incredible mistake. Well, we, well, I barely had time to get my first comments out the way. And an unbelievable mistake so early in the match. Broxham with the ball back. And it comes to Adrian Lay. He just gets it stuck between his feet. And the Predator, Barish, is alive to it. And he's through one-on-one -on -one with Kovic. Kovic takes him down, letter of the law, it is a red card. Uh, well, talk about an understatement. It's a disastrous start for Melbourne victory. I mean, it's a simple ball back to deal with for Adrian Leia. His experience, he's the captain. You've got to be concentrated in the first minutes of the match. Kovic. Well, he's filthy, isn't he's he? He's filthy. And he's got every right to be. And just when you thought, here's an occasion for Melbourne victory. They got their first win last week. To really give it a go, they got their first goals, their first win. It's a massive occasion. The Brisbane Raw coming to town. And well, I'm speechless, as you are. You're happy for me to continue on. Please do. Well, of course, that means that the victory are going to have to make a change. They need a goalkeeper. So Tom Pondolyak, who's barely had time to break sweat, is going to be replaced. And what a moment this is for young Lawrence Thomas. It's his A-League debut. Just 19 years of age, formerly with Sheffield United, signed during the off-season. A Sydney boy by birth. And the first thing he's going to have to do in his A-League career is try and stop a penalty from the reigning A-League champions. How's your nerves as a goalkeeper in this situation? <laughs> That's an incredible moment for him. But ten men down, Adrian Leia, the captain with the massive mistake so early in the game and I know Simon you and Andy Harper will have your highlight show on Monday evening well it won't take much analyzing that one just a mistake from Adrian Leia lack of concentration early in the match Djurakovic must be seething as well as was Kovic walking off well, Lawrence Thomas getting plenty of encouragement and words of advice from his teammates he's had plenty of time to think about facing this penalty kick and will the delay Perhaps of Enrique scored two from the spot last week, of course, against Adelaide United. This to give Brisbane Raw the lead in the very early stages at Etihad Stadium. Oh, just too eager, too enthusiastic. And then Enrique's going to have to go through it all again. Already a large pause with Kovic departing the scene. We're going to have to extend the highlight show to an hour, I think, <laughs> Robbie. And that's just the first two minutes here. Incredible stuff. He gets another chance, Lawrence Thomas. Will he go the same way, Enrique?
from way, same results. Here we go again. Brisbane in front. Well, talk about calm. He had to do it twice. He had the long wait, the long pause as the reserve keeper came on and Kovic departed. And then he had to take it again because of his over-enthusiastic teammates encroaching. Well, he goes a different way from the first penalty. And Lawrence Thomas, he goes the right way. He went the same way. The first to his left is a mistake from Leia Borussia. Credit to him as well. So sharp and just looking for the mistake. There's clearly contact. But he goes the right way. He went the same way, Lawrence Thomas, on the first penalty. He guesses the right way. He's very close. Well, it's never dull when Brisbane Roar are in town. Will that galvanise Melbourne victory? The ten men now of Melbourne victory. It's certainly attracted the ire of the large crowd inside Etihad Stadium. Here he is again. Thompson sets off on a run. It's behind the Melbourne victory number ten. Hartaloo being challenged by Diogo Ferreira. Archie Thompson scores! 1-1! The ten men draw level. And the goal thief has stolen another one. Archie Thompson... Well, that's a wonderful finish from Archie Thompson. Great awareness that Theoklatos is off his line. Now he's urging his teammates. And this time it's a mistake from Brisbane Raw. They've had one warning, and Hernandez is looking for Harry Kuehl on the far side. There's the knot down there. Partalu goes for it. That's a great challenge there. And then he gets his toe in. Archie Thompson's clearly onside. And a wonderful finish. Ferreira with the pressing. Look at the awareness of Archie Thompson that the Oklatos is off his line. It's instantaneous. One touch, cushions the ball, and lobs the Oklatos. Wonderful goal. What a sensational piece of skill from Archie Thompson. Kill the ball, stone dead. And hey, the finish wasn't too bad either. Goal number 55 in the A-League for Archie Thompson. Eric Partaloo being, for me, the one... Small disappointment, not being selected, but I'm sure it's not far away. Absolutely sensational form at the moment. Now Archie Thompson's away here and onside. Smith coming across the cover in front, it's German. Thompson going this way and that. Melbourne victory lead 2-1. Archie Thompson wriggle this way and that. And Brisbane were just mesmerised. On the counter-attack, superb play from Harry Kuehl, who picks out Archie Thompson. And Archie Thompson still had a lot to do. But the vision from Kuehl was absolutely first class. The tackle first on Enrique, then he gets his head up. And there's no hesitation. Head up, he sees Thompson and releases him. And Smith tries to get back. Archie Thompson twists him inside and out. And a fantastic finish. In fact, it's German, it's not Matt Smith. Matt Smith maybe could have cut that ball out from Kuehl. He did get a touch onto it. But Archie Thompson, superb form at the moment. Absolutely brilliant. He didn't only wrong foot German, he wrong footed Theoklatos as well. Well, cop a load of this. The ten men lead the champions by two goals to one. We didn't think we'd be saying that when Ante Kovic was uh, sent off in the first minute, Robbie. Certainly not. Normally does. And, uh, just on the ground, the victory could become the first club this season to pass 100,000 spectators altogether. This is only their third home game. Now, Broich wants a free kick and he'll get it. has gone to his pocket again yellow card for Adrian Leia well he's a judge to pull the shirt but it is the yellow card for the actual foul because it didn't come out straight away or is it for the afters Boyce looking to break in behind there's the arm across the shirt yeah it's clear it's, it's clearly a foul now here's Harry Kuehl and Franjic, and Harry Kuehl didn't get a free kick. That was clearly a free kick. One missed. This one he didn't miss. Of course, if you're a victory fan, 
it's not going to be make you feel any better. Thomas Bosch, good distance to get it up and over and down. Another victory assembling the wall. Young Lawrence Thomas wants to get it absolutely right, no doubt. And Brisbane have got a few men in there causing mischief as well. Something they've no doubt worked on as they scatter and Broich drives through and into the back of the net. 2-2. Thomas Broich for Brisbane. Well, that's the side that the wall is supposed to be protecting. Now, there were two balls. There was a Melbourne victory wall and there was a Brisbane raw wall. And the Brisbane... As the Brisbane raw wall broke... Did that make a crack appear? Let's have a look. Melbourne victories wall. It goes through. They've jumped. They've jumped. Now, did Thomas Boyce, that would be... I've seen it done before. I'm just trying to think where it was, but I've seen it done before. Well, they've all jumped out of the way, Yeah, he's, he's meant to hit that low. He's banking on them jumping, and that's exactly what he's done. You can't blame the goalkeeper because that's the side that the wall is protecting. It would be very interesting to hear Mark Bosnich's take on that. Oh, he was caught late there by Fashini, and that's going to be another card. Oh, it's a red! I don't believe this. Melbourne victory are down to nine, and we're not even at half time. Oh, he's got that one wrong, Ben Williams. First look, we haven't seen the replay, but I think he's got that one long, wrong. I think it's a yellow card. Bryce just skips inside Fashini. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Fashini can't believe it. It's not a good challenge. Is it a red card? Jurakovic is up. Steve Mortone. Kevin Musket slumped in his chair. Well, the ball out to Bruce. He comes in. That's a yellow card. It's no more. It's no more the yellow card. Stefan Udo with a little pass. Bruce just waiting for him and he skips inside. He does he make more of that Thomas Bruce? I can't believe that's a red card. Well, that's what Melbourne victory, I'm sure, will uh, argue. But Ben Williams had no doubts whatsoever. Mehmet Durakovic continues the conversation with the uh, referee's assistant. Well, well, his task has just got doubly hard, as if it wasn't difficult enough. So the half-time whistle is about to blow. And I think they were talking about blood on his shirt. Chance for Archie Thompson on a hat trick, of course. Oh, he didn't really catch it, and those sort of moments are going to be as rare as hen's teeth for Melbourne victory. It's a long time since I've seen Archie Thompson so sharp. Two goals here tonight. A great strike in Wellington last week, and of course he made the penalty. But here it goes. Let's uh, sign off and listen to this. Well, Ben Williams takes his earpiece out, but he might want to put them uh, back in and a couple of earplugs as well. What an incredible first 45 minutes. Thomas Breutsch at the centre of some of the drama. The challenge by Foschini on him led to the red card, the second red card after Ante Kovic had been sent off. Rightly, in our opinion, after just a minute, we've had four goals as well. Ben Williams is copping an earful. And, well, everybody, players, supporters and us, I think, need to breathe out. Most notably, Ben Williams does. Half time at Etihad Stadium, and what a first half it's been. Melbourne victory two, Brisbane Raw two. Broich. Somebody needs to have a shot. Thomas Broich does, and very nearly gives Brisbane the lead. Well, that's what. But perhaps a bit more of that, uh, Robbie. Somebody has to take a gamble for Brisbane, perhaps. That's what we've really been waiting for the second half is Thomas Broich to do this sort of thing. It's cuts inside, it's his trademark, really. And it swerves away. He needed it to bend the other way. And he knows how close that was. It's the first time we've seen him do that. I think there was another occasion where he coming from the same side. Same side. And it opened up for him to do it, take that shot, but he never did. Shade 
over three minutes to go. It'll be long minutes for the victory, but they've done ever so well. Now Franjic has found some space. Oh, Thomas, that's a really good claim before he was uh, barged off the ball. And rightly, victory get the free kick. No, I think he's right. I think Borussia comes into it. Adrian Lea has caught one in the process. It's uh, knocked out of his hands, in fact, by his own player. So in that regard, perhaps it shouldn't have been a free kick. Yeah. Anyway, they'll feel they've earned that one, Melbourne victory. Well, they've uh, had some ups and downs this season Melbourne victory and Robbie if they get a point out of this it'll probably feel like a victory for the victory quick look at the clock from Mehmet Durakovic anxious moments Olsop, intelligent ball by Danny Olsop, so Archie Thompson has just run out of legs and run out of pitch. So into the final minute of normal time. to unlock the door to this Melbourne victory. Stubborn defence, good tackle again. And a foul and a yellow card for Luke Bratton. Diogo Ferreira has certainly played his part tonight. That's a silly challenge from, from Luke Bratton. The youngster just maybe over-enthusiastic. Maybe hurls himself in there. To injury time we go, of which there's going to be four minutes. <laughs> Gasps of disbelief around Etihad Stadium. Four minutes to hang on for an unlikely draw for Melbourne victory. It'll be the second time they've done it in the A-League with nine men. is Thomas Broich. Never right off a Brisbane winner of course, Stefan Uto towards the near post and Thomas is there again. He's been well protected the young goalkeeper but when he's been called into action Robbie he's done very well indeed, he's done very well. And it's rare that they've got him behind Thomas Broich with a clever ball for Stefan Uto. Lawrence Thomas up to the task. This is almost like a win for victory. They can hold on. Three minutes. Yeah, noisy supporters trying to draw them over the line. Well, they played their part. They've been absolutely superb tonight, the supporters of Melbourne victory. Now well, Brisbane about to drop their first points of the season. Kojima Ferran again Broxham is there Madoka German might think about the shots thinks better of it Bratan Breutsch 
times, Robbie, have they been guilty of trying to walk the ball into the net? More boos as uh, Ben Williams blows for a foul. This time on Fabio for the nudge in the back on Franjic. Looked a bit soft, perhaps. And ben Williams is now issuing a yellow card to Archie Thompson for a bit of back chat. Oh, goodness me, they are boiling Melbourne victory. They know they're so close. Here comes a free kick. Oh, and it's a good save by Lawrence Thomas to deny Matthew German. Yeah, good save to his left. Good header from Matt German. Corner taken short. Here's Breutsch trying to find an angle to shoot. And again, it's charged down. Broxham has been excellent in that screening role. Almost three minutes of added time played. Madoka as Brisbane try to keep their 100% record. It's a goal kick, and maybe, just maybe, they've done enough Melbourne victory. Header from Matt German, free header as well. That's a good save from Lawrence. Over to his left-hand side, gets one hand to it. And what a performance from the nine men from Melbourne victory. You've got to hand it to them. In the end, they'll have deserved it. They've worked so hard. Brisbane have had all the ball, but they've been disciplined. Well, if there were any questions about Melbourne Victory's team spirits, I think they've been answered today, Robbie. They have been tremendous in adversity. The four minutes almost up. All eyes on Ben Williams, as they have been for most of the game. Raw tells you that Brisbane Raw's 100% record this season is over. Their unbeaten run remains. It's 33 matches now, but Melbourne Victory celebrates as though they've won the match and they've earned that right. They have defended terrifically well in this second half with only nine men. And they have earned a very, very hard-earned point. Handshakes and hugs between the former South Melbourne colleagues, Mamet Durakovic and Ange Postacoglu. There will be questions asked and the debates will rage about the performance and the decisions of Ben Williams, the referee. But in real adversity, Melbourne victory dug very, very deep indeed. And they become the first team to take points off Brisbane Raw this season. A quite extraordinary night down here at Docklands. Two red cards, four goals, all happening in the first half. And Brisbane, for all they tried in the second period, unable to break Melbourne victory down. The full-time scoreline, Melbourne victory two, Brisbane raw two.